Whoa, 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 whoa. It's holy shit. Oh, shit, Jing Yuan. Wow, she's just standing there. <laughs> Menacingly. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is the deer. Hey, I know, it's a, it's a completely different environment I'm in compared to the, the preview you just saw a couple seconds ago. Just a quick thing, is this gonna be a reaction to the animated short of Flash? Because I haven't watched that yet. If you want to skip that, skip to this timestamp right here, or use the timestamp I put in the video for you guys to follow. Well, the gameplay footage is about a week old from, from what I when I pre-recorded, so that, that explains the, you know, the environment change. But all in all, you know, have fun, enjoy, hope you have a great time watching. Okay, let's read the description first for this. 7380, Star Calendar. Jing Liu, a master consortmaster of the Luofu, slashed her way out of the Starskip Haven, cutting through the Cloud Knights, tasked to subdue her before her vanishing. Wait, isn't Jing Liu one of the upcoming characters? That name sounded familiar. Year 8096, Star Calendar. A young soldier named Yan Qing rose to fame from the tournament hosted by the Seat of Divine Foresight and was conferred at the rank of the Cloud Light Lieutenant, like we know now. The years pass in a flash, cups of wine the only solace, a fleeting flash. Thus is the speed of swift blades as the masters and her students spar, and thus is the passage of unceasing torrent of time. Just how long has it been? His duel with his master, centuries ago, still rippled like a memory from yesterday. But the few years between now and when he took in the boy as a student felt like a lifetime. Time gallops swift as a stellar. <laughs> oh, <laughs> stellar. Stallion. Suddenly as a lightning strike, agonizing as a blade that runs him through. And yet, it feels like everything has always been the same. So this is like the history of uh, Jing Yuan and Yan, Yan Qing. Except Jing Liu is also included. But we'll see soon. What excites me more is that I think this is the style of how they animate Honkai shorts. You know, Honkai Impact 3rd shorts. Which means depression. What in fuck's name? Now, you, you, you're not gonna understand why I'm excited about something like depression. But, you know, Honkai Impact 3rd storyline is pretty good. It's, it's actually pretty good. It's very decent. There's a lot of, like, emotional moments in there and, you know, high stakes and all that. And if they're doing it like this, I feel like it's going... The story's leading down the same path. And, I think I mentioned this before, but... The story direct story writer, story director, for Star Rail is the same as Honkai Impact 3rd. Without further ado, let's watch it. Might be in- is this in Chinese or English? Oh. Whoa. Floating debris? Or is, is this the fight with Jing Liu? Whose weapon? That, yes, this is Jing Liu, isn't it? It'll be cool if it's. Oh. Heed this oath. Oh, it's English. The clouds that cover the heavens will oh, the nice cool. protect the Sienjo. Draw. Yes, master. Clouds that cover the heavens. Small Jingren. Wait. Wait. Why would? Why would they be fighting? Why does she have this death look in her eyes? She was. Yes, master. Her mentor. No. The description was talking about them too. Wow. Oh! The Mara struck. Master. He doesn't recognize us. So it is with the Mara struck. <laughs> to become stricken with Mara is to be a long life species. If I too you know, become uh, stricken in time. Hey, thanks, Yao Shi, for that again. Hold back. Two. 
Oh no. No sense of time. Wait. You should leave, Jing Yuan. Jing Yu is already. Wait, wait! The blindfolded lady. She was in the. She was in the trailer. Wait, is that Jing Liu? Dude, this animations is it's superb actually. The gods, the thun, the thun, the thunder clapping. Your gift of instruction, I will pay in this strike. This is how they start me off with the. They, they 9, and now 9, he's teetering. He took 9, on his master's mantle. A cloud oh. knight must never let slip their weapon, nor let slacken their form. <laughs> Though, you'll have to grow a little taller before the knights will have you. Uh, uh, I want to be like you, General. I want to be a famous Yanjo legend. <laughs> You do. It is a difficult road. How did she lose her way? Took, right, General? Is this the is this the same corrosion from the Mara? <laughs> now I'm worried about your soul full of fighting spirit. Yeah. I won't hold back. Oh, they're gonna spar. Huh. Wow. Yeah. Oh, she was. Mar yeah. Sorry. She was Mara stricken. Yeah. It's it's um it's just similar to like erosion in Genshin, like the the same corrupting force that made As Ajdaha hostile and what would one day one day consume Zhong Li as well. If we're getting Jing Liu soon, that means she doesn't die, or it's like what, a reincarnation. If if you haven't played through the story yet. And just want to see my reaction. Skip forward now. Just skip forward to the gameplay because I'm gonna discuss some story-related content. The resurrected tree that was gifted by Yao Si from the Abundance. Could that just end up resurrecting some of these fallen Mara-struck people as well? That and that's how like Jing Liu comes into being again. Or it's a case like Blade, who uh, Dan Hun keeps on hunting and killing, but Blade always somehow revives himself and comes back to hunt Dan Hung again. I'm pretty sure we'll dive into that in the next patch soon. Trailer to reaction over, on to gameplay. I was not planning to record today, but the thing kind of forced me into this and I can't, I, I can't get out. <laughs> Dude, it's so, it's so cool how they have like this, the outside just change like this, like a, to match the location. The central law for the shackling prison. Hmm. Oh, Blade! This is Blade, isn't it? Oh. He's one of the hunters, the Stellar Hunt. Jing Yuan and, uh, what's his name? Yan Ching. Yan Ching. Yes, General. Watch this person carefully. <gasps> yeah, because he's a Stellar on Hunter. Do you remember me? Oh. I remember. Of five people, three must pay a price. <laughs> you are not one of them, Jin Yuan. <laughs> of five people, right, yes. three must pay a price. <laughs> you are one of them. <laughs> Jesus. Right, yeah, he and Blade have history, Hold I on. remember. Uh, He's definitely sleeping in. Uh, no, having PTSD. <laughs> we trailblazers like. can go days without sleep, but when we do hit the hay, we have to make up for it. 
Anyway, no point wasting our time in the corridor. The conductor wants us to attend a warp navigation meeting. We have a meeting room? The room is quiet, nobody answers. Uh, hey, she has, uh, she has Bella Bug pictures now. Look, as, as epic as this music is, I think I'll probably, I will probably change it. It's too epic for like a coach music. Don Hun sure is a mysterious guy, how shocking. Yeah. I heard he did something incredible once, and now some powerful force has his name on a wanted list. Five. My guess is the Sienjo Alliance, or the Garden of Recollection. In any case, it can't no, be the corporation. The Hunters. I've seen their wanted list. Morning. You're very punctual. And a wonderful morning to you, Himiko. Oh, I can't remember the last time I got such a polite response. For you, anything. Oh, this is the meeting room? The Warp Navigation Meeting has officially begun. It's time for your conductor, <clears throat> that's me, to reveal the name of our next stop. Xianzhou <laughs> Luofu. Long time no see, Astral Express crew. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's Kafka. I came at a good time. You're all here. Whoa. Every Wait, this, this isn't a, one. This isn't no part need for of the, the mysterious introduction, Stellaron Hunter. <laughs> Himiko, correct? <laughs> Apologies for interrupting your little get together, but I'm sure once you've heard my request, you'll forgive me. I'd like you to make a destination alteration. I've seen your face what? before, Stellaron Hunter. Even if it was only Kafka. on a corporation wanted poster. That they was were so sudden. They do not like her. Leading a bunch of wild lunatics <laughs> into the hunters. Have you guys heard of the Law Fu? The Xianzhou Law Fu? It belongs to the Hexa fleet of the Xianzhou Alliance. We've heard of it. Hmm. But. What you haven't heard is that it's currently very close to you. A couple of warp jumps away, in fact. Mm. 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lafu. What exactly are you Stellaron hunters trying to do? The Sienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. My companion, Blade, has been taken away by the Cloud Knights. I want to bring him back, resolve this Stellaron crisis, and clear our names. This fucking guy. I can tell you what the future holds. If you don't go to the Law Fu, the Stellaron will eventually contaminate the entire ship. And over half of the inhabitants will perish. Oh, what? you brave. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. Wow, she really just came in and just interrupted Pompom's <sighs> speech. Oh. March. Get done hung. The path of the hunt is narrow and doesn't stand out among the other paths, but the Alliance enjoys the direct blessing of the Eon. The six great ships of the Sienjo I thought they had another Eon. Brothers in arms. The hunt is that horse centaur looking thing. I thought it was the lady with a lot of arms. <laughs> hmm. I just spoke to Don Hung. Here's the deal. We've all got to vote against. I want to vote in favor. Think I have my reasons. If it were one of the other ships, it might have been okay. But I can't go to the Lofu. So you and the Lofu have history. Other ships, which one? Well, that's up to you. I'm forbidden from setting foot on that ship. Total interception of any attempt to enter the Dominion is how they chose to put it. All those in favor, hold out your hand. All those against, keep your arms by your side. I, I, I vote for more Stellar Jade. Oh, Mar March. <sighs> I calmed down and thought about it a bit. If it turns out that woman isn't lying, then a lot of innocent people are gonna get hurt. Now's the time for thinking about other people. <laughs> well, ready for a trailblazing expedition? You wanted it so bad. Now's your time to start. For a while now. 
but make sure you take good care of the two of them. Don't worry. The train is about to make the jump. Five. Oh, March is not four, trying to do the thing anymore. Three, nope, March is still there. One. Never mind. Mar March is March is still there. I just saw her. Whoa. Xianzhou ship? It looks even bigger than your Relo 6! Is that like just the size of one of the thrusters or what the hell am I looking at? They built all this? Some of this. Welcome to Lawful Skyport Starskipven. That advance and you can't get a proper radio signal. Something's not right. But no one is guiding us into dock. Guess we'll have to wind glide in. A vessel arrives at a deserted spaceport. Isn't that how like loads of horror movies start? True, like alien isolation. <laughs> that dolly zoom though. Please wait, transfer. Please wait, transfer. Mm. Please mm. wait, transfer. Mm. Mm. The Jade Gate now opening. On behalf of the Xianzhou La Fu, welcome guests from afar. Oh, signal stabilize. Trail blazers, assemble. Make Why not come with us, Pom Pom? Have you visited the Xianzhou before, Pom Pom? Uh, don't worry about me. I'm just happy you're enjoying the journey. Pom Pom still seems a little sad. His speech was interrupted. I would be too. I'd be pissed. For preservation, we got a lance, a fire lance. The hunt might be wind, maybe an arrow. That's what I'm thinking. L Lan has a has like a like a like a space arrow, and his uh, his attacks in the simulated universe is wind. Always keep that in mind, and don't forget the way of the trailblaze. Explore, understand, understand establish, establish, and connect. And connect. Yeah! Let's go. Uh, he even looks excited. Whoa! Oh, look! It's just containers as far as the eye can see. Ooh. This area isn't for receiving guests. This is Hong Kai, it's China. For unloading cargo. Who decided to send us this way? Yeah, someone opened the gate for us. Huh. Uh, new uh, stop music. talking. If there is someone here, they're in my bad books already. Are you forgetting we've got Mr. Yang with us? Oh right. You haven't seen what he can do yet. Black holes. Yes. Let's move. Hush of the truth. Hmm. Admits the Mara struck. Oh, what the f- Destructibles! Oh. Mr. Yang, someone's hurt! Oh shit, the troops got body. God bless. You're hurt, son. Uh, try not to talk. Is this Fragmentum? Stellaron Hunters? Or what? Oh, what is that? Will of Preservation! <laughs> New battle music. Who's next? Mara struck soldier. Soldiers of the Shinjo who somehow fell into madness. Their bodies continue to grow and mutate and have long lost their humanoid form. It is said that the long-lived Shinjo natives would eventually be stricken with Mara. Mara, is this like erosion? But you see, it, it, it's all like wood and it's organic. Can we one shot this Illusions map? of the past. We can. I'll end your misery. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Miss Ting Yun, fall back! Oh, oh Ting Yun, it's the fox girl. Hey, the name. you there? We need your help. Say no more. Thanks for saving beauty from the beast. <laughs> Pleasure. But are you thanking us or giving yourself a compliment? Ba -ba -ba -ba. You see their masks almost, once they enter this form, they mold into like, it's almost like their jaws now. That's so cool. That's... Cheating. Dude, just... Bruh. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Allow us to escort you back to the Skyfaring Commission. Immediately. Calm down, I heard you. It'd be rude of me to depart without thanking our benefactors. Um, thanks received. My name is Ting Yun, 
I'm the Amicassador for the Lawfu Skyfaring Commission Merchant Guild. A what now? I'm March 7th. This is Mr. Yang. Oh, Mr. Welt Yang. And this is... I'm the Galactic Basser. Yeah. <laughs> what a heroic sounding name. I'm my own Paimon. Starskiff Haven is under lockdown. Since none of you are Sienjo residents, may I ask how you came to be here? Someone let us through. If you can't offer an explanation, I'm afraid these Cloud Knights will have to escort you out. Oh, come out. on. Hey, it's not going to be another Bella Bog. You're with the Astral Express. You've heard of us? Indeed I have. Oh, you've arrived at a bad time. The Sienjo has suffered an incident. Or a perfect time. Whether you're here for leisure, treatment, or trade, I'm afraid you won't be able to go through with it. I'll take you to Madame Yukong of the Skyfaring Commission. Yukong? Let her decide how to proceed. Is that the other kid's name? I almost thought she said Wukong at first. I'm like... Hmm? I'm so confused. So if we, we, we came in from that portal. Oh, there, there's a whole planet there. How does this work? How did how are we inside? Like Those were not to be confused with monsters, benefactors. We call them Long Mars Life Stack. Curse. Oh, what the fuck? It's a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> That's cool. You've oh. already put on quite the show. Do you think you'll be able to find and operate the control panel? Right, so why don't you do oh, it? I'm afraid I'm not built oh. for hard labor. I'm just a fragile oh, she gal. She sure knows how to boss people around. Get body. Yeah. Glance at the Get body. <laughs> Slide to the... Ooh. So you are afraid of me. An engine... Engineum casually made by craftmasters of the Artisan Commission. It was originally... An anamnite burner in use for purifying air, but now it has been given short lived life due to certain imitations. Alarm bell. A furnace and alarm. Whoa! <laughs> Look at these little fellas. They're gonna be very annoying, aren't they? Who's next? Tough luck. A light! And it's now a, dr a goldfish. That's so cool! It's like it has that traditional vibe, but it's also like cyberpunk almost. Such a cool combo of design. And it's it's huge. Let's see. Oh, we went through here. One, two, three, maybe four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at him, he's got a get ready and watch your backs. This will strengthen our position. Oh boy. A cultivator who longs to revive ancient mis mysteries of the abundance and to guide the Xianzhou natives back to the liberating path of immortality. Now their wish has been fulfilled. Gifted by the power of the ancient miracle and using it as both a weapon and armor, they managed to touch the secret of immortality. Don't tell me he revives too. Immortality means forever. Well, that's not fair. Yeah, we tell them all, all of some of the stuff. Yeah, there we go. See, summons die along with the summoner. Look how many tail hairs I lost on the way. Oh, That's what you're worried about. All this. And, and from the lore I read, these are like some of the vehicles they have are grown. There is like this sort of power that grows their vehicles, like literally, from wood into like a full-on flying ship. A sun. Oh, a compass. Turn the compass to oh. Shit. Yo, oh, are we going to the main city? Right, right? Yes, we are. Oh, shit. Wow. Oh, what? Oh, there's a lot of verticality, actually. On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, allow me to welcome you to Starskiff Haven. Wow. On the Sienjo Lafu, anything relating to aviation, navigation, and trade falls within the scope of the Skyfaring Commission, which is one of the six commissions of the Lafu. As the biggest port on the ship, Starskiff Haven is governed by the Skyfaring Commission too. Let's head to the Palace of Astrum first and report your arrival to Madame Yukong. 
Palace of Astrum? Right. Oh, that? Right there, the tallest building in the city. It's also the headquarters of the Sky Ferrying Commission. Whoa. Let's hurry. We haven't got much time. Our meeting with Madame Yukon won't be without risk. We need to be prepared and take it seriously. She is a top Sienjo leader. Oh, Mr. Yang, do you think this could be Bellabog all over again? Are you saying that Madame Yukong is the new Madame Kokolia? Let me guess, they're gonna put us in the hotel first? No, the Sienjo Alliance is better than that. But Madame Yukong will definitely have a string of difficult questions. I would love to see what the hotels here are look like. Though. Why did we choose to come to the Sienjo now? How did we know that the incident is related to a Stellaron? Yeah, Who that's gonna be tough to explain. To us? This job else. is so hard. Wrong. Let's be honest with her. Idea. We can be his cheerleaders in the background. Yes. Let's not do that. No cheerleading. Oh, she got my number. When the higher ups of Xianzhou first heard of your reasons for coming, they thought you were either here to seek immortality or the Stellaron. Seek immortality. Immortality is illegal. Ah, uh, yeah. See, that's the that's the fox species. Come on. Oh, oh shit. Wow, the tra- wow! The transport line is surely, sure busy. Do they get traffic here? That's the dragon species, isn't it? A lot of foxes. Hello, how are you? Yeah, we're definitely not telling them about uh, Kafka. Ah, the stone lions. Yo. Oh, you're here already. Sorry to keep you waiting. Madame Yukong is expecting you. Are you not coming? I've brought the Madame Helmmaster up to speed. It's over to you now. Yes, Madame. It is. It is that other fox lady. Report the losses to General Jing Yuan and find someone from the Divination Commission. Whoa. You can't just stand there watching while we deal with this mess. Oh, she has a much lower pitch voice than I was expecting. Greetings, guests from the Astral Express. Hello, Ningguang. <laughs> Since you know about the Stellaron and have stated that you want to help the Law Fu, I thought I should at least meet you in person uh, well, and politely uh, decline your proposal. D oh. We have been around for over 8,000 years and weathered countless dangers and crises. While the situation is serious, we have more than enough resources to spare. Yet... Outsider help is not needed on this occasion. Yet, Elio predicted that over half of the Xianzhou will die. If we can locate it in time and contain it, it's possible that we can restore any space and any individuals affected by the corrosion. I've said this and I'll say it again. This is an internal affair of the Xianzhou Alliance, and there is no need for the Astral Express to get involved. She's a tough woman. If the Xianzhou Alliance say they can handle it, then we're wasting our breath. Let's go. I'm afraid that's impossible. Bro, Bellabog again? Huh? How did you come to know mm, of the incident? Yeah. And what led you to conclude that it was linked to a Stellaron? My excellent intuition. Not long ago, someone hacked into the system and opened the Jade Gate before guiding you, the Astral Express, into our territory. Oh, it, it really looks like it was us, huh? The hacker was skillful and even taunted us with her seal. Her name is Silverwolf, a member of the Stellaron Hunters. Oh. Don't be too harsh, you gong. If this gets out, the whole galaxy will think the Alliance oh. has forgotten how to treat our guests. Holy shit. Oh, shit, Jing Yuan. Apologies for interrupting your meeting. Dang, that hair blocking My name is Jing Yuan. I'm the general of the Cloud Knights here on the law floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Colon three face. But I'm afraid I cannot accept your kind offer to help resolve the issue. Right. This is a Xian Zhou matter, and it is our responsibility to handle it. Yeah, I mean, I... Let me grab some chests first, and I'll just get going. Well, I do have a favor to ask. Please, after you. We captured a member of the Stellaron Hunters a few days ago. Who goes by the name... Sino VA, by the way. I came to the conclusion that the communication must have been an attempt by the Stellaron Hunters to sow dissent between god, us. God, thank god, people with brain cells. That's right, we've been framed. Maybe the Stellaron Hunters have other motives. You are hereby authorized to do as you deem fit on the Lofu. With the goal of bringing Kafka out of the shadows and under our control. If you are able to capture this Stellaron Hunter, 
The Sienjo like they will be indebted. that easy. About Blade. Blade is wanted by both the Corporation and the Alliance. I'm afraid I cannot comment on his file. About Kafka. There are five known members of the Stellaron Hunters. Elio. Elio is the Kafka. leader, but always Salibor. stays behind the scenes. Salibor. Most of the operations Blades. are led by Kafka. Had the Divination Commission not intercepted her encrypted transmission, she would have remained undetected for much longer. Kafka is good at controlling the people around her. Hmm. Ordinary means may prove futile when it comes to this individual, but the Divination Commission has ways of... Torture. <laughs> Don't misunderstand me. Oh. The Sienjo does not engage in torture. Say, look at this place. It's like I'm in the, on the inside Jade Chamber again, or the Golden House, actually. That's it. A minor detail, but curious. He avoided talking about Blade. Since the Cloud Knights have already captured a Stellaron Hunter, why not use him to get to Kafka? Huh? Why rely it's on us? more deeper than that. The Sienjo is reluctant to involve outsiders in the Stellaron disaster, so why is it so keen on letting us capture a Stellaron Hunter? He's using us as bait. Yes. The only sensible conclusion I can draw is that Blade had already escaped when Jing Yuan spoke to us. Oh. Provided they even captured him in the first place. Therefore, given our connection to Kafka, we Kafka represent the used only her as way base. of... What do you make of this, Jing Yuan? He's hot. I'm not asking about that. Although, you're not wrong. Master Diviner, you heard our discussion. What do you make of it? Oh, Yang Cheng, and uh, who's that? What do I make of it? Fu the Xuan. way of heaven is apparent, but the heart of humanity is often deceptive. Oh. Are you asking me to divine their true intentions? Look at her. All I want is for them to lure up the one we're after. Wasn't that my idea, General? <laughs> Why don't you retire early and I use my discretion full time? <laughs> <laughs> it is still too soon, unfortunately. If something goes wrong, you'll need a general to take the blame. How could I simply walk away and put you at such risk? Wait, what are you up to exactly? <gasps> Xing Yuan, did you let him escape on purpose? Me? <laughs> I had no idea he might escape. Unlike you, my gaze never travels beyond the horizon. I take full responsibility. The Cloud Knights failed in their duty. Perhaps it's about time you finally nominate oh. me as your successor when the Six Charioteers next convene. Charioteer. General, Diviner Fu wants the General's position for herself. Dia. Everyone knows that. These these VAs are eating good, getting double rolls and like, you know, getting double pay. Blade escaped. Now we gotta go get him. Just say the word and I'll solve this in a flash. You think I'd lose to Blade? I'm saying you need to have patience, Yan Ching. Governing Xianzhe is different from a sword fight. The only way to build momentum is to work slowly. Besides, we still don't know who's really moving the chess pieces. There is something we must take care of before making our next move. As long as it remains unresolved, we're at a stalemate. That something is the Stellaron. Worry not, you'll have your moment when the current stalemate is broken. You are my most trusted aide, and there are some things that I would only assign to you. Speaking of which, Yang Ching. Ah, uh, the bro just bailed. <sighs> that boy. That boy. Right. He also like hordes has hordes of hordes of sword collections. My Wait, this was this was one of the areas in the live stream, wasn't it? <laughs> Faring Commission has reserved rooms for you at the Petrichor Inn. Uh, when you finish your business <laughs> here, how about some tea together? Another hotel? Uh, I felt like I suddenly lost weight when we passed through. Dude, it's like they're projecting a fake sky across the whole thing. Do you even have weight to lose? I think you're imagining things. There was a gravitational shift. The same thing happens when we warp this jump thing's a only ship? we feel heavier. <laughs> you know, you're talking my language. B but I like your explanation too, Mr. Yang. <laughs> the Xianzhou possesses extremely <laughs> well, advanced technology. Well, it's not. If I'm not mistaken, we've been in an artificial ecosphere since yeah, we arrived at the Skyport. Uh, strange. 
I don't remember seeing a big planet near the Sienjo when we were on the Express. It's a projection. You're right. Something with a mass as huge as a Sienjo ship should keep clear of any planets on its course. Otherwise, it risks being caught up in the gravitational pull. I heard that residents of the Sienjo have extremely long lifespans which would require them to make great efforts to preserve their mental health. Oh, jeez. Meaning... You sure know a lot, Mr. Yang. When you travel with Mr. Yang, he'll give you a thesis on everything he sees. If you have the patience to let him go on and on. Right, okay. Let's get back to work. <laughs> you get, he, get, he gets tired of my bullshit. Place to wait out the storm. Come to Petrichor Inn. If it doesn't let me climb in the closet, it's not a good hotel. They say that many years ago, Madame Yukong was an ace pilot in the Cloud Knights. She was a work hard, play harder type. Hot Pilots? temper and in she specifically mentioned that if you wish to buy anything at the inn, be it food or otherwise, just let the innkeeper know. <gasps> Look the how happy will she cover is. the cost. Oh, but Jesus. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Is there anything special about what she said? Coordinates coverage? I heard something in the background. Oh, wow, background noise? Precisely. That's the sound of a device. Uh, which means what exactly? The general sent for craftsmen, and they concluded that the sound came from the shipyard facilities in Stargazer Navalia. If you're looking for a place to wait out the storm, come to Petrichor Inn. What's the British Fox Girls? Jesus. Let's see how Don Hung's doing. <laughs> Ask him what he's up to. Then tell him we're having loads of fun. No, he is. There's no way he's coming down here. Hey, you guys doing all right? March and I are doing the mission. Are you okay? Felt to send. Not long ago on the Astral Express. Oh. Did you keep a copy of the Stellaron Hunter's transmission? Can I have a look? That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. Stop! Please. The Sienjo is in danger. This man, he... Oh, right, of course, he wasn't there for the transmission. If he's on the ship, then Welt March and her... Everyone is in grave danger. Is he connected to that past you want to escape? I... Of the five. I can't Holy leave them shit, down he's there. Going. I'm afraid my burden has finally caught up with me. And that everyone is about to be drawn in. Pom Pom and I are more than capable of looking after the Express. If there's something you've got to do, do it now. Better than regretting it further down the line. And you'll come back and travel with us once this is all over, right? Uh. Pom Pom wishes you the best of luck. Make sure you return before the Express departs and bring Pom Pom back some local specialties. I knew he was going to come down, but I didn't expect it to be that fast. A few moments later. Oh. Felt a scent. What's wrong with the- <laughs> Oh. Oh. Luo Chan Su Shang. Stay where you are. I can handle this. Emergencies should be dealt with by professionals. Hi, stranger. Take this. Rise, beat it. This one's strong, alright? Ow. We don't have a healer. A miracle. A little too much. Oh. Lo oh. Chao, right? He's With a you two risking your lives for me, could I really stay where I am? Oh. oh, are we gonna get him as child too? <laughs> Oh Let shit! Arr! I I've known barely anything about Lil Ta. You! <laughs> Eternal step. Dead return! Too late to repent. Oh, he's auto. <laughs> oh. Wow. I'm Su Shang of the Cloud Knights. I was just transferred here from the Yao Ching. I did tell you to let me handle it. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. What if I accidentally hit you? Forgive me, miss, but you were too busy being hit yourself. 
It's a good thing I joined the fray. What are you carrying? <laughs> Miss Sushang, what exactly has transpired here? In all my trade visits, I've never seen Starskiff Haven in such a state. Is he of Shenzhou? Because I thought I, I thought Lord Cha is like a Chinese guys. name. Oh, one more thing. I need you to write your names down later. I don't know too many characters. I might make a mistake. Hmm. Meanwhile, when you're ready, let's get going. I made a few calls and managed to procure this from the Artisanship Commission. Perfect for hunting down suspects. Aww. Oh, it's a dog! Aww, he's so cute! It's one of those dancing li- ah, oh, what do you call those? Like the dancing lines you see at this, the Chinese New Year. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I know, what I can agree. you do exactly? Are we gonna set him loose on Kafka? We're gonna throw it at her head. A bionic dog developed by the Artisanship Commission. He has all the five senses of the Foxian race and takes them to another level. Foxian race. Oh. She's not in a deck with us while Kafka's still at large. When it first opened, the Petri Court Inn had. <laughs> Yo, it is zooming. <laughs> I want to hug. There's so many things that's just cute and adorable in this game. Friendship ended with Peppy. I'm just kidding. Look at her. Damn! It's going up to max speed. If they actually make this permanent though, that would be outrageous. I've been wanting pets in Genshin forever. Who would have thought that Stargazer Navalia might become so quiet? Oh. Long were the nights when the oh, clangor this of is hammers where they rose to meet the stars. Yes, see? People used to write poems about the shipwrights here. This is where they grow the ships. Before D Team can start tracking, you'll have to feed him some leaves. Oh, wait. That's one of the enemy types. They have a mech. I remember, I remember seeing it somewhere. Shards of a Cloud Knight's weapon. Something really sharp caused this. Her katana is sharp. She's got a scary sword. It's called a katana, March. Oh. You know, something I definitely gotta say I like is that there is no restriction on weapon types in this game. That gives, like, the attack so much more freedom. Look, D Ting found a strange chest, and there's a handprint on it. Let me see. Slender fingers, but strong. This hand belongs to a killer. Uh, there's a note here, too. Take your fancy, there's a reward inside. She's expecting me. Her boss can predict the future, of course. I know, I know. Let's go and have a look. Uh, is that a grenade? What's that on the side? Uh, it's lipstick. A small something for the lost. Uh, she's clearly taunting us. Dot grenade, a grenade with a pin pulled. It is silent as though it might start growling in a moment. A little gift for the lost. Very Kafka. What's this? A jade seal used by the shipwrights. It opens various passages. It looks like someone used it and then destroyed it. A card. Possibly Kafka. Card? We should have enough clues here to get Deeding on the move. And of it. Oh, that's cool though. Oh, another chest, another handprint. Has this woman got nothing better to do? A little cheese for the rats in the maze? Dude. Rats? Oh, she's playing games with us. Okay, that's just disrespectful. The scent. Where did it go? Did. Oh, when the trace of the hunted disappears, the hunter better think twice. What? It might mean the tables have turned. Wait, why are the guards with you? Kafka! What have you done? These cloud knights aren't Mara struck. What did you do to them? Just a little persuasion to get them to listen to me. But you know all about that already, don't you? Bro, you guys have zero riz. Hey, don't look at me. <sighs> what a hassle. This place is too far for the diviner. See you up ahead. Seriously, you guys were persuaded? You are kidding me. We have the upper hand. Ready for another? Time for a shot. Wow, she's just standing there. Menacingly. So close and yet so far. 
You'll have to pick up the pace. Rude. Move to the right. What the fuck? No shit. Yan Ching? He's the hunt, single damage. Oh, oh, he's gonna be good though. I'm not even mad about that actually. Enemies ahead. Up for a scrap? That design is so cool. What the fuck? Arumaton Gatekeeper. Garrison Arumaton created with ancient ingenium technology. Cup countless years ago, the Arumaton set sail with the Xianzhou to seek divine recipes of immortality. No task to oversee humanity and it didn't work. However, after countless rebellions, they were finally overpowered by Xianzhou natives. Now all Arumatons are strictly controlled with talismans. They're employed to guard important places. Dude! Take that with your Brute force it. We don't need to scan anymore. Welcome, Astral Expressors. Looks like you caught me. You're finished. Surrender. You have the right to remain silent. This was all part of your plan. You know. <laughs> You know, all of you know Admit it, how Kafka. it's supposed to go down. You planned for us to come here. Uh, I didn't plan anything. It was the future. We interfere on countless future possibilities and make the best future a reality. Oh, not only can Elio predict... Dude, he you can speak see... speak too highly of us, like, Welt. The Stellaron Hunters are merely different. Destiny's slaves. <laughs> best future? Best for who? As if you'd consider anyone but yourself. If I said best for the universe, would you believe me? <laughs> best for me, naturally. Jesus. But we don't have much I time. I love her voice acting. If I were you, I'd make a move before it's too late. <laughs> oh! Oh! Ah, <sighs> great. She's got the guards with her. Ready? Oh. <laughs> I've been deep but make a single make a single target unable to take action. Target what? See this gonna attack me? What the fuck? Oh. Enough. <laughs> oh, oh, I can get rid of the debuff. I can get rid of the debuff. All better now. There we go, yeah. Zoning out. I can help. Whoa. Not so fast. I'm okay. Jesus, stop targeting my support. fucking <laughs> something for everybody. Watch your feet. That hurt. God oh Jesus. She's almost Ready? done. Oh. Feeling a little dizzy. Oh no. <laughs> But I'm a fighting is meaningless. Zoning out. I can help. not too fast. Don't Zila, mess with me. Come on. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> what? Rudimentary. Your every move has been foreseen. What kind of fucking matrix? Fushren, Divination Commission. I'll be taking the criminal from here. Greetings, crew of the Astral Express. Just like this that? This is our first encounter. 
Though given that I have encountered you in foresight, perhaps I should say the second. Another person that can I see the future Shen, just naturally. Master Diviner at the Divination Commission and one of the six charioteers. Dude, these these characters these kinds of char characters are too OP. Also, like when she was flicking the bullets, it's probably the bullets that she saw that were going to hit us. Dude, you her max ends are dope the though. Usual. Right. What the actual heck is she saying? Stuff. She's just showing off with some big and fancy words, even my S S Synthesia Beacon can make sense of what she said. <clears throat> if the method of my speech is offensive to you, you need but say. Did Kafka foresee the Diviner foreseeing her actions as well? And she's being purposely captured. Did the General just spare us a walk with Kafka? I knew he was a good guy. Because he's handsome. I'm not biased at all. The three of you shall accompany me to the Divination Commission. Oh, where are we? Oh, are we at the... We are! Oh, the, the square! Let's the disembark town square. here, benefactors. Uh, <sighs> why did you bring us here? Does this look like the Divination Commission to you? No need to yell, Master Diviner. The Meridian Pin is malfunctioning, and I couldn't find the entrance to the Delve. I wanted to get us straight to our destination, but this is the only place I could dock the Star Skiff. This is a safe place. Ooh. Let's just walk the rest of the way from here. Do you see that? <laughs> hmm. Our hexagrammatic position is fluctuating between the marsh and water trigrams. The vessel is stranded and the way is blocked. What do you see? I heard the Sienjo can tell your fortune. Is that how they do it? Anyone can count on their fingers. Since you are clearly ignorant of the Commission's internal affairs, I shall absolve you of your ridiculous remarks. Wow, we pissed her off fast. I'm going ahead to make some inquiries. Sayonara. Goodbye. Um, you might not want to hear this, but your general gave us his word. We have to be present when you question Kafka. Uh, you think too little of me. My word is my bond. Dude, we are offending her more and more with every dialogue option we <laughs> collapses. Uh, I think I offended someone again. Yeah, think? According to Herta, the corporation believes Elio can see the temporal branching of infinite possibilities, which is very much like being able to predict the future. It's like you can see the imaginary tree. Every seemingly meaningless action Dude, taken bro, by the Stellar Raptors may actually be a choice based on those possibilities. That's broken. Which would include what they did to you. I'm different, I have free will. Is that all I am? A future variable? Whatever, I only care about this. For the sake of this discussion? Yes, I think so. But who is it? All of us are future variables, our choices solidifying reality. The future is nothing incredible either, just a fog waiting for us to make a decision. Back to the matter at hand, Kafka. Her surrender seemed odd, she didn't resist at all. It was all within her expectations, she planted. Yes. Yeah. Or perhaps something is supposed to transpire during the Divination Commission's interrogation. Something that would allow her a window of escape. <sighs> Why did the Stellaron Hunters go to such lengths to bring us here? What is the future that Destiny's slave sees behind this course of action? Certainly if they can tell the future... They'll know the whatever what they'll end up asking and what she's gonna end up telling them. So what what's the point? What? Where part which part? Mm. Wow. Dude, this view is quite something at night. It feels so familiar too. Cause these looks like the things I've seen before. Minus the flying ships in the floating city. Being a sci-fi nerd though, ah this is this is the thing. That's the plaza. But uh, I can't see anyone waiting for us. Should we look around? Sure, I was gonna admire the view, but fuck, people are getting bodied left and right. What's going on with him? Oh no! Everybody, stay back! Oh, finally! Give him this medicine and make him lie down! They still come to it fast. Just... I mean, make them lie down. <laughs> Don't mess with me.
Oh my god, I didn't heal my- I can still fight! I forgot to heal, <laughs> Jesus. Wait, did, we, did we kill them? Uh, that'll teach you a lesson. Ready to lie down now? Bye, new god. Damn, lady, lady, it's okay. Thanks for helping to stabilize the patients. Your assertive sedation techniques are quite effective. Yeah, it's called thwacking the shit out of them. How old are you? Where did you come from, little one? Is your dad around? I don't have a dad. Sorry. I I I didn't know. I uh, didn't. What about your mom? I don't have a mom either. So how do you exist? Welcome to the Xian Show, my short-lived outsider friends. Appearances can be deceiving here. The Vidyadara race is self-reincarnating. No mom or dad required. self reincar huh? I've been studying the art of healing ever since I cast off my old show. You're looking at a recognized, practicing, dedicated doctor. That's gonna be an overpopulation issue. Well, enough of that. I have patience to see. I'll leave you to it. Our little miracle worker seems very different from everyone else around. Don't you think, Mr. Yang? So this is the Vidyadara. They're known as the Dragon Race. Not hard to see why. Excuse me, miss. Hold on a moment. Oh, the hell? It was only thanks to your help earlier that the Dragon Lady and those exalting Sanctum residents got away unscathed. You must be the guests. If you don't mind, I hope you can take the time to come to the Realm Keeping Commission. I'd like to talk to you about the issues Exalting Sanctum is currently facing. I just... Oh! Oh! Danang! What happened? What are you doing on the center? Cloudford. Unlock Danhan's story. Meanwhile... You see, like, his, his design... is... He sounds like Asian, but it's all like royalty, like like more like Victorian-ish. You see, there's nothing resembling like a represents like East, like Asian, you know, culture on him. You don't seem like you're from Xianzhou. Where have you come from? Hmm. Merchants don't belong anywhere. We wander and make the stars our home. Within the Alliance, I'm oh. registered at the Xianzhou Yutre. Within the IPC, I'm registered at the Star Unity Mall branch at the North Valley Star. Luo Cha is just the name I use within the Xianzhou. Outside of the Xianzhou, I use something more... difficult to pronounce. I'm guessing you want to know that name, too? Yes. But you, you, you're just not gonna... What's in the coffin? I found myself embroiled in a conflict and ended up owing a favor. Now I must assist in delivering these remains back to the Xianzhou. Yeah, but you're kind of using it as a weapon? Isn't that kind of disrespectful? Silent, but deadly. Are you sure that nickname isn't annoying you? Remain silent. I mean, you're kind of living up to the first bit right now. Have you met this little child before? Nope, I met him when I met you. But yeah, now that you mention it, maybe I did see him somewhere. Um. He seems a bit familiar. Where would that have been? Oh. Oh, oh, that's where we are. That's where we were. March's six faced ice. There was a fight here. There's supposed to be a passage. Why can't I see it? You know, just 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 climb over boxes that are just up to this height you know it's not that hard I still have no idea what that wh why there's a black hole in this area shift the balance this will strengthen our position <gasps> fighting is <sighs> thank goodness there's one star skip left what what where does it go? God damn, that stutter done, huh? Oh, we're just gonna run into each other, sounds like. No. I had some more trading to do on the other Xianzhou ships, but my main appointment was with Miss Ting Yun. 
of the Whistling Flames Merchant Guild. We had a business deal to discuss, but I fear it will no deal? longer go ahead. Most of the deals won't be particularly profitable. The IPC takes the majority. There's only one that might be worth the journey. A direct trade with the Fong Hu. Leave. Oh, that was it. Meanwhile... More and more citizens in particular those dealing with great risks and stress like the Cloud Knights, are becoming stricken with Mara. If you come across any clues, remember to inform the Realm Keeping Commission straight away. My colleagues and I will handle any situation with haste and to the best of our ability. Speaking of which, have you made any discoveries so far? Well, I don't have the other items. Dao carefully reads the letter you delivered. His expression reflects his disbelief as he reads it again. Dao sweats profusely as he uh, apologizes to Bolton after a while he returns with a girl. I'll be honest with you, I've got no idea how to handle this problem. It's beyond the Realm Keeping Commission's jurisdiction. Divine Allow foresight. me to introduce Madam Ching Zhu, General Jing Yuan's chief counselor. Hello. I think it'll be easier if she explains the letter to you. To an outsider. This letter appears to be nothing more than good news detailing a recovery from a chronic illness. However, what is actually being discussed is a violation of the Ten Unpardonable Sins. It's heresy. Such actions remind me of an organization that was eradicated from the Sienjo a thousand years ago. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. They were disciples of the Abundance that sought to restore the way of immortality by unearthing a forbidden remedial formula. It's hard to believe that a group that was wiped out so long ago would suddenly rear its head and create chaos once more. The Seat of Divine Foresight needs to learn all it can about this organization's status before the situation reaches a point of no return. If you come across any similar clues about the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, come and find me at the Seat of Divine Foresight. These kinds of first-hand accounts are exactly what we require. We sent an undercover investigator out a few months ago. They provided us with a rough idea of the situation. Unfortunately, it seems suspicions were aroused. We lost contact with the agent. I suspect he was discovered. Suspicious no persons. Excuse me, guest from another world. Please spare me a moment of your time. Do you yearn for immortality? No, I don't. Yes, I do. I yearn for power. Eternal life is indeed a kind of power, wouldn't you say? No, I want power, pure and simple. Uh, my name is Green Hibiscus. I came to Exalting Sanctum in hopes of a fated encounter with one such as yourself. One who is also on the road to immortality. What do you say? How about we find a more suitable spot to talk about all this? Where are we? Here we are. This is the place. Oh, you go. Why is there a guard? Allow me to reintroduce myself. I am a member of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus is a devout group, holding firm in their belief that Merciful Medicus is the one ultimate faith. As followers, we refer to ourselves as disciples, dedicated to our cause. But to become a disciple, you must first pass several small trials. Which Please is... excuse me. What is this Cloud Knight doing here? No need to be concerned about him. Much like yourself, he is here to undergo the trials. All you must do is transcribe this copy of Thousand-Handed Merciful Medicus's Salvation 500 times by hand. Oh lord, you can see me on the next update. Oh my god, no way, am I actually going to? He started copying the Thousand-Handed Merciful Medicus Salvation. Once upon a time, the Thousand Hand Medicus uh, traveled the world with 99,000 disciples, living under Rapu and teaching their way. As they spoke, 99,999 disciples were liberated from youth, old age, and sickness and suffering. After making the final stroke, you catch the Cloud Knights in your peripheral vision as he gestures to you. Hey, stop writing! Get over here! I know you! You're General Jing Yuan's honored guest! I think you've got the wrong person. Jing Yan? Jim Yan? Never heard of him. Looks like we'll have to make sure no one finds out. Wait, wait a second. You're here undercover, right? So am I! I'm a Cloud Knight from the Exalting Sanctum Garrison! Maybe keep your voice down? You can trust me with the transcription. I spent over 150 years pen-pushing in the Seat of Divine Foresight before I became a Cloud Knight. I could do this in my sleep. I help you copy the text, you cover for me, and I get word out to the Seat of Divine Foresight. Okay, alright, deal. God, I don't want to be writing. I finished it. You're finished? 
So soon? Let me see. It would appear you are finished. A fast and accurate transcription. It seems you are destined for immortality. The second step is extraordinarily simple. It'll like all be knows. over soon enough. The disciple's initiation is governed by the following principle. Never accept who you suspect, and never suspect who you accept. So, it's time for you two to battle it out. Whoever survives will officially become a disciple. What the hell? I don't want to kill the fella. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're kidding, right? We came here to lengthen our lifespans, not shorten them. You can't just make us fight like this. We aren't forcing you to fight. By all means, refuse if you wish. But we won't possibly be able to let either of you leave. I... Mm, fine. Fine. But at least let me prepare? I've never done anything like this before. I'm just gonna pretend Listen, punch you. I have an idea Pop. that will let you join the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus and let me get the heck out of here in one piece. I pretend that you finish me off. Then you pretend to help them remove my body by dragging oh, me I out of here. Excellent acting skills. I've seen your skills. Um, S please don't mess up and actually kill me. Stab. Whoops. Let fate decide. Just try and hold back a little, okay? <laughs> Purple chrysanthemum. Blue peach. Find somewhere to dispose. Oh no! Wait, wait, wait! That's my job. You take the cloud nine to a safe place. <sighs> <laughs> I did a good job playing dead, didn't I? No, you were like literally breathing. Those people are out of their minds. Watch your step next time you're around them. Ow. Are you still alive? I'll be careful. They can't make, take me in the fight. Wait. You, you weren't holding back? <sighs> These stars hurt your face for a long time before you realize this. <laughs> uh, enough with the jokes already. It's a miracle either of us is alive. I've mentioned before that a Cloud Knight named Zushin went missing a few months ago. I want to know what happened to him, dead or alive, so I can give my answer to his family. Let's avoid contacting each other from here on out. If you're going out, on full side, those disciples will surely become suspicious of you. Come back in one piece, otherwise the general will be quite upset with you. Ow! Oh. oh! Code cracked. Huh. Wow, the security it's system is order from the lacking. disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Judging from these urgent instructions, the Disciples are aware of a seat of Divine Foresight operation to infiltrate their ranks. <laughs> no wonder Green Hibiscus was so eager to intercept this. I'll use my phone to make a copy and then hand it over to Green Hibiscus. Mav Moon, this is the reliable Disciple I mentioned to you, Grey Peony. Mav Moon? Grey Peony, this is Mav Moon, the head of our operations in Exalting Sanctum. It seems you have some impressive skills in your arsenal. Here, take this prescription. Through this medicine, you will become like me. You will be able to break the shackles that the devilish archer author has used to chain your soul. You will gain unbridled power and freedom. Keep fulfilling your duties, as you have been. With your strength, you'll have an audience with the Master in no time. Why did you join the organization? I'm ashamed to admit it, but I once worked alongside those devils. I trained in spear techniques for almost a century. I nearly became a Cloud Knight instructor. Now, everything has changed. Jersene and his pitiful spearmanship are no more. All that remains is a loyal disciple of Merciful Medicus. Your face changed when you heard my name. M M Mav Moon, sir, we have a problem. I suspect this person may be the agent who's been looking for you. Idiot! What kind of trials are you running? You let an agent infiltrate our ranks? Wait, I got found out? Oh, I'm done, let's do this. You can come at me together. Divine foresight, devil. It's time for you to meet your demise. This is going well. I'm okay. Merciful Medicus. Help me improve. Well, fuck. Secret of the safe. Ow. Enemy data secure. Netmark is activated. Time for good old counterattack. Kill me, 
Time oh, for sword play. Fuck's sake. Oh, mercy of Sanctus Medicus. Grant me a body impervious to steel. The courage of a thousand armies. A strength that ten thousand foes cannot suppress. I thought you guys lose your minds when you turn into these you things. Think the sanctuary is but a vision. Oh. Blade and flight. Wow. So Mauve Moon was the agent that Ching Zhu lost contact with. He joined the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Sorry, I was out of it. I did not realize it was the same guy for a second. Right. I, w I stumbled upon this by accident when I was exploring. You can just come here. It, it's like you getting to like the that boat from Li Yue through the fisherman guy. It's Jing Yuan's crib. I never imagined that your scene would choose the path of evil. You've managed to shine a light on the darkness of the enemy. With this intelligence, the seed of divine foresight will be able to improve its strategy. And for all your efforts, please accept this reward. We dispatched agents, but they were only able to linger on the edges of the organization. Your operation is the furthest anyone's managed to infiltrate. And your previous agent just, just went and said, fuck it, I, um, if you can't beat him, join him. If you turn up any details about the prescription, feel free to come back and find me anytime. Yeah, I, right, I came upon her too, randomly. She's, uh, she's blind, I think. You read the prescriptions to Dan Su. A strange and dangerous prescription, but I believe I understand the pharmacology. It involves drawing upon the strength of long scions to attain the power of ascension. The specifics, however, will require further investigation. This will take some time. When I've completed my assessment of the pharmacology, I'll get in touch with you. Greetings, Master Diviner asked me to wait for you. It's about time. Can't go. I'm busy right now. Who? Who? Divination booth? Oh! Ching Chue! Uh, hurry up, Ching Chue! We'll be fossils by the time you're finished! Uh, they're playing Mahjong. I heard there was a disaster in the Divination Commission's Delve? Uh, I'm surprised you're in the mood to play right now, Ching Chue. Look at her. Even if the sky was gonna collapse on the Divination Commission, the Master Diviner would be there to hold it up. What she lacks in height, she more than makes up for in stamina. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the same height, you know? I, I'm, I'm here, by the way. You can stop the game. And her kit is like solely based on RNG with Mahjong. Oh, uh, hi there! I can tell just by looking at you that you're the Divination Commission's guests. You don't want the Master Diviner to know you've been slacking off, do you? Uh, I know, I know, I'm sorry. I was going to wait for you by the statue, but... Ah! Triplet! Oh, but folks from the Realm Keeping Commission descended on the area. It's too loud over there now. Pass! Pass! <sighs> Quieter! Four of a kind! Four of a kind! <laughs> Victory! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I must apologize for your long wait, honored guests. It wasn't too long. Seeing your enthusiasm for this Celestial Jade game has stoked my curiosity. Yeah, it's called Mahjong, Walt. Please don't be a fucking ermine soul again. That tree has caused Tevat so much pain, it's unimaginable. It's an ancient tree. We call it the Ambrosial Arbor. It was once the Sienjo La Fu's prized treasure. Now it's dead and smoky. Anyway, it's just a legend. I see this view every day on my way to work. I'm kind of bored of it. Not really a, a view to, you know, not a view at all. Let's go. It's just looks depressing. Definition Commission. Ooh. Just a heads up. Please don't go running off once we're inside. Oh. Well, do you look at? Wow, this place is huge. Jeez. Right, where are we? Aha. Uh -huh. You know, for something that's so like linearly designed, there's actually. A Mm. Oh shit, what the fuck is this? Oh, what what is this yeah. music? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a bop. Time for a shot. Mm. 
So strange. Oh, let me guess, the gate isn't working? I don't understand, it's never been locked before. And no one told me to take a key. Is it possible you were fired? Maybe something happened inside. No way. She's already demoted me to managing the repository. What else does she want from me? Dude, I she is emergency. short. Miss Ching Chi, if you don't mind, may I take a look? Yo, will you pull, pull a hacker huh? man belt? Oh, this thing again. Amazing, Mr. Yang. Oh, it's uh, it's it's different. Here comes trouble. Uh, can't we run around to them for a change? Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, Eternal Alchemist. Oh, secret sect hidden within the Shandu Lord with a medicine purifying heart. Oh, ooh, it, it's like a mage type character now. What was that do? He, 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 I guess they just die majestically. What did he do to me? What did he? What? What did he do? What did? What did he do? Oh. Uh, Ow. What's that? This is the Matrix of Prescience. That's the large-scale Jade Abacus calculation terminal. Oh. It's the pride and joy of the Divination Commission. <clears throat> We've heard the term Jade Abacus a few times now. Would you mind explaining what it is, Miss Ching Chi? A Jade Abacus is just... A Jade Abacus! <laughs> Thank you. You don't I know yourself, do you? Sure. Just like engraving a seal, the craftsmen of the Xianzhou Artisanship Commission carve faint symbols into pieces of jade so and then insert them into machines to get them to operate according to a certain oh, intention. I'm so loving this sci-fi aesthetic. So, Take the matrix of prescience That's pretty here as broken, an example. Though. As long as sufficient information is provided, it can answer questions. I wonder if Elio is using a, a similar like type of technology. Of they say the theory behind the symbols was handed down by Noose, the oh. Wisdom Walker. The principles are so profound Noose. that in the Divination Commission, only the Master Diviner truly understands right. them. Noose supposedly was a Aeon created by the Genius Society. We're almost at the Matrix of Prescience Core. The Master Diviner should be waiting. Oh, you hear the music though? Wow. Oh, this Fushun. We are fluctuating between the Heaven and Thunder trigrams. A step forward bridges no distance hence. And for those who don't speak Fu Shen? <clears throat> it's an utter disaster. Great woe. How's that for a Divination Commission fortune? The Matrix of Prescience has stopped operating, and the symbols have dimmed. There are Stellaron spirits wreaking havoc inside the Commission, and the Cloud Knights are struggling to protect civilians. Yeah. You have I an want enemy to restore mobs, the Matrix of Prescience, you know. but I have no forces available. The Divination Commission simply does its best to uncover the good and the bad, and then make the right decisions. Okay, so there is like... We have no magical means to turn the tide. The prediction can... The prediction can sometimes fail. And that is precisely why we need you in charge. When it comes to handling clairvoyant Stellaron hunters, who better than Fu Shen the Seer? As for reinforcements, you didn't think I'd be unprepared, did you? Mm-hmm. Hello, Look, help has just arrived. Master Diviner, I brought you the guests. Though, it wasn't your order I received. <sighs> So general. Even guests are on the payroll these days? Sort Entering the Matrix of Prescience without my permission is a breach of protocol. Uh, your thank you for, for that I cleared some of your mobs for you, by the way. Because no one bothered to take care of it. <sighs> oh, Would be welcome. an ungracious thing to say in the present circumstances. I admit I'm pleasantly surprised to see you here. Jinchua is often unreliable, but she comes through for us when the need arises. The Divination Commission is currently understaffed. I need your help to restart the Matrix of Prescience's space terminals mm. and eliminate the Stellaron spirits along the way. Sure, will do. Just say the magic word. Uh, what? You know, p p p p which magic p word? Please. Uh, the universal one. Please. Oh. Uh, please. All right, I'll get to uh, it. Tingzhui, restarting the base terminals will be your responsibility. Oh. 
and forget everything you saw and heard just now. Fu Shen's Matrix of Prescience was able to go one step further than Kafka. To maintain the upper hand, I had to keep it a surprise. I hope this hasn't made you doubt my sincerity. Are we sure who's like actually? Because both of the uh, b both have powers to predict the future. Who has the? Who actually has the upper hand? Hug. Tell her, oh, we pulled a fucking Inazuma Electro Gate. Yeah, okay. Alright, okay, I'm gonna put it here. Put this. Yeah, I know what to do. Yes, yes, yes. There you go. You are welcome. That should do it. Oh, what the heck is this? It looks like a walking gate. Mm. Passage prohibited. Malfunctioning. Now. is over. Swords descend! <laughs> no interest in con- Oh, this one blue. This one, there's a blue one. Wow, that was so hard. That's a purple one. Oh, shit. Do it. Well done, you. all of you. I can sense the Matrix of Prescient symbols re-illuminating. Now, to interrogate Kafka. Those of you in the core may feel a few... impacts. Are you ready? Let's go. There you <laughs> Is are. this really necessary? I said I'd cooperate with you. Wait, what? I'm sorry, what? Oh god, this is weird. Where, where, why, where, why, where, why, where, why, how, why, why? I have no interest in the words of wanted criminals, especially those skilled in the art of manipulation. Did they feel too much drip would make her dangerous? Then please, Master Diviner, witness my destiny. Something's different. Right. Whoa. This is a bit extreme for... For a light attack, attack, we're good, right? No, okay, we're not good. We're not good. That's why you're here. All for that? Well, not what you were expecting. What the hell? I can't believe it. But the Matrix of Prescience cannot be wrong. What did, what did you see? What did you do? Has Kafka pulled one o over on us again? Kafka has nothing to do with Estelaron, but you... It's you! She came here for me? Oh, now you think I'm an, I'm her accomplice. Am I, am I an enemy of Ask the- Ask her the yourself. Take as long as you wish. I must report this to the General immediately. Please excuse me. See, like, she feel, I feel she's hot, like hostile towards us now. You go ask her. I know you still have many questions for Kafka yourself. What did you, you're still floating, by the way. This is awkward. Hi. Hi. <sighs> you haven't changed a bit. First question, where did your glasses go? I'm sorry you have to see me in such a sorry state. Don't act like we're friends. Are you alright? Are you hurt? Don't look like you're in a sorry state to me. What if we say this? This is like actual concern. Hmm. Concerned about me? I mean, I would. If I'm she ain't fine. okay, no, there's Does gonna the be Enjo no one to pull for. The is always courteous with its captives. I didn't talk to you on the train because I knew you and I would get to talk alone here. Worth waiting for, don't you think? You seem to have a lot to ask me. What is your objective? Are you really innocent? What did Fushun see? Elio said he foresaw three questions, but they would be the same in essence. He, he foresaw if I were her to hear foreseeing. One of them, I would Jesus. then tell you the objective of this trip in all its detail. Gienjo's Stellaron problem is not directly linked to us. Right, so you said... But if you look at it from Elio's perspective, you can't say the Stellaron hunters are completely innocent. I know that too. We foresaw all this long ago. 
but chose to remain indifferent until the time was right for us to get involved. Diviner Fu was surprised because she discovered three truths. One, the Stellaron Hunters are not enemies of the Sienjo. You know this now, though you refuse to believe it. Uh -huh. Two, someone else brought the Stellaron into the Sienjo and activated it. A result of both internal unrest and external oh. aggression. Traitors on the Lawfu and enemies people. from outside want to overthrow the Sienjo. However, that's all the Master Diviner knows. Because Elio withheld key pieces of information For from this me. Exact moment. He foresaw the Divination Commission using the Matrix of Prescience against he foresaw me your... <laughs> to guard against I out foresaw your foresee. He ensured that I knew only what he wanted the Cienjo Alliance to know That's bro in this moment. Okay, yeah, so... As for number three... Even in their wildest dreams, the Cienjo Alliance could never have guessed it. <laughs> <laughs> if the Stellaron Hunters aren't the cause of all this, then why are Blady and I even here? <laughs> Blady? We're here for you. For us, your lying remains silence. Why? Sounds ridiculous, How did you it? phrase it? It's no wonder Fushen doesn't believe it either. But the Matrix of Prescience doesn't lie. The answer is just that bizarre. The Stellaron Hunters appearing here, Blady getting arrested, me being lured to the Matrix of Prescience. It was all to bring you, the Astral Express crew, to the Sienjo. In the future that Elio chose, the power of the hunt is indispensable. And that's why the Astral Express crew had to come to the La Fu and achieve something important for the Sienjo. You had to establish a connection with the Alliance. And do what? And that's why I had to trick you into coming here. <laughs> I needed you to meet the Lafu's general in person and to help him resolve the Stellaron crisis. I needed the Alliance to owe you a favor. That way, in the future, at the most critical moment, the Sienjo will offer you their help. The Senzo will help us in to make the you a hero. What is this future you're talking about? You're lying. Why are you helping me? <sighs> like I said, Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. The future holds endless possibilities. And knowing the right thing at the wrong time could spoil all our hard work. Well, Nanook is definitely involved. There is only one thing I can tell <laughs> you about the future. Like she has a stand. In the best and the worst cases. You will eventually have to face oh, yeah, I'm sure that's gonna happen. Nanook, the destruction. And when that time comes, you will need all the help you can get. It will be a brutal Is it like the struggle final boss? of Ionic proportions. Proportions that neither you, nor I, nor the Astral Express will ever be able to reach. In the vast majority of futures, that's when destiny ends. But if we follow Elio's plan, there may be a glimmer of hope on the horizon. Right. You know, even eons can be killed. Oh, I'm sure of that. Hey, Lucha! Oh. Hey, you didn't finish telling us about the propagation. Keep going, it's interesting. It's another eon. So, eons can die, huh? Weird. I thought they were invincible. Wait, what? How? They were also having a similar conversation? Ordinary beings could not have orchestrated the fall of the propagation. That eon was slain at the hands oh. of another eon. Nanook? Surely you must know the story of Lan and Yausha. Oh. Isn't destroying the eon Yausha the Alliance's cherished aim? Lands of the Hunt. Yausha is abundance, I think. How's this for a subject? What's in the box? What's in the box? It's a casket, more commonly known as a coffin. It's for containing the remains of the deceased. I thought we had this conversation already. They say that when a Vidyadara is very old or has a fatal injury, they turn into an egg that looks like a pearl. When the shell breaks, 
they come out looking young again. Dude, that's gotta be like a headache f for population control. My if Idiotava are long scions, they are descendants of the Eon of Permanence. That was why some, but not all, could turn into dragons. Permanence. The power was a rare inheritance, passed down only to those who could successfully complete All these numerous names rites and challenges. It was hard to say whether it was a blessing or a curse. Every life has its limit. Even the eons are not truly Nothing lasts immortal forever. and will eventually reach the end of their lives. Why did he look towards Ade's coffin when he said eons? Uh, do you know the person? There's no way he's coffin? transporting the remains of a god, right? <sighs> yes. Let's leave it at that, shall we? I think we've all had enough rest. Oh, who that? Who, who that? <laughs> Eternal stay. Dead return! Wait. Clemency? Oh, they can. Right! Rebirth is a buff! You can take off their rebirth? Oh, okay, that's a type technique. Like a skill I should learn. Miss, are you okay? Looks like a playable character. What do you think? Sorry, I, I didn't see any blood, so I, I thought you were okay. My motor is broken. I can't move. Wait, you're actually... Take me to the Realm Keeping Commission. I'm afraid we have to delay things again. This lady is one of the judges of oh. the Ten Lords Commission. As a Cloud Knight, I must prioritize her orders. I'm sorry. If I'd known, I wouldn't have got you to come with me. You'd probably be there by now if you'd gone by yourself. I happen to have some medical knowledge. Perhaps I, thought I she just said she was the young lady's injuries. Well, it's just she's a puppet. I think we should just take her to the realm keeping commission. Can you tinker with? Tink? Don't worry, Miss Sushang. Leave it to me. Yeah. You might get an aching or numbing sensation, but oh. it shouldn't be too painful. Do you think you can hold still? What is that? It won't work. My body is mechanical, not flesh and blood. Be it mechanical oh, or geez. organic, we're still dealing with composite substances. I just hope you'll tolerate my methods. Yeah? Huh. <sighs> Curious. Geez. How... what kind of medical knowledge is well, that's this? That's busted medical, that's what it is. You can... F you can, f like, even fix non-organic non things. Abundance. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Very good. Wow. We, uh, no longer need to return to the Realm Keeping Commission. That's a the mission continues. That's a cool... That's such a cool design. Leave as soon as possible. Oh, she is cool. I came to address the root of our crisis by arresting a fugitive. A oh, Stellaron Hunter. Oh. This villain possesses exceptional swordsmanship and wields a divine weapon. They are extremely Ladies. dangerous. I might be interested in pulling them. I've never seen anything like it. It's one of the dead ones. Lon the Permanence, Drilla oh, no. the Beauty, Anna the Order, Order Tazeron the Propagation, Akivili oh. the Trailblaze. Oh, we saw some of these names in the, um, the trailer. That, the the storyline trailer. Were... There are three ways an eon can perish known to humanity. One, paths with overlapping concepts will eventually collide, and the broader path will engulf the narrower one. That's how Enna the Order was assimilated by Shipe the Harmony. Two, in a war between eons, the stronger side will annihilate the right, weaker one. That's just combat. That's how Tazeronth the Propagation fell. Under the guidance of the Hunt, the Sienjo Alliance travels the universe exterminating abominations cultivated by the Abundance. So, yeah, the Sienjo too are engaged in this process. Why does the Sienjo want to kill the Abundance? How did Tazeroth die? What about Akavili? Did they die in the hands of Neon? 
Damn, I want to ask all three of those questions. After the disappearance of Long the Permanence, Tazeroth divided the Eon's path. In the process, Tazeroth became a new they Eon, can just do known that, as just Propagation. Oh, My the? understanding is that Tazeroth, or Imperator Insectorum to some, didn't last long. When the swarm disaster began to take hold, Tazeroth was attacked and killed by multiple eons. Ouch. What do you think? Fascinating stories, no? <laughs> They're the kind of stories that folks on the straight and narrow would never tell you. Hold on. Any minute now. <laughs> It's begun. What? What? Hmm. What the? F oh, the tree. Oh, it's rising. It why? Hey, 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 hey! Wait. Let's go, Blady. Bla Two more places to visit. <laughs> wow, <laughs> okay. They just... They just spelled like that. What the Did Kafka escape? Uh, how are we going to explain this to the Master Diviner? Explain that first. The goddamn tree revived itself. If what she said is true, we won't have to explain anything. An actual conversation where she actually talks to the other person. This game is so crazy. Us actually speaking is still something I cannot get over. Wait, isn't this where we fight the deer boss from the trailer? Wasn't this the dead tree Ching Chue showed us earlier? How did it grow all of a sudden? Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Even the long-lived might not witness something like this in their lifetime. I'm so lucky. Take a picture. Oh. Such extraordinary energy. They it's stuffed, the Stellaron. They stuffed that into the tree? Hello, Cloud Knight. The Stellaron didn't appear out of thin air. Someone managed to sneak it onto the ship. As for the culprits behind the Lofu's internal strife. Oh, the Sanctus. I believe we are dealing with the so-called disciples of Sanctus Medicus. The Sienjo has the blessing of the Rainbow Arbiter. And only another Eon Emanator would be capable of sneaking onto this ship without my knowing. We are dealing with an external threat. The Stellaron corrosion continues to flood into That's the ship. That's a beautiful shot. And yet it bypassed both the seat of divine foresight and the shackling prison. There is forethought here. Our enemy must have had access to Lafu intelligence for things to unfold in this way. But why is he here? And why did he draw the Astral Express? <laughs> that piece of the puzzle still eludes me. So we can fight the boss. From my perspective, Convening the Cloud Knights is our immediate priority. We must head into the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor, expel the Stellaron spirits, and prevent the Arbor's resurrection. Mmm, as ever the Master Diviner's Omnisha provides for the fastest solution. However, sometimes speed is not everything. I have known the Stellaron's location for a while now. So why have I held back our forces? So I can come in and get the spotlight. Thanks, Jingyuan. I know you were so caring about me. We were in need of extra hands, and the Stellaron hunters were kind enough to bring us together with the Astral Express. Oh, yeah. How could I look the other way? Okay, so I'm thinking... Predict, just prediction. Because of the location we're at, it's either going to be we, we get the power of Lan the Hunt. The Hunt... And it's going to be wind or something. Or we, we get the path of abundance from Yao Shi. You know, could be both sides. Lady Fu, I hereby issue you with the military tally. The Cloud Knights will be under your control. And? You will act in concert with the other forces in the approach to the Ambrosial Arbor through the Alchemy Commission Dell. You've been eager to discover for yourself what it is to be a general, have you not? You've never given me the opportunity, and now suddenly. <clears throat> <laughs> Understood. As you wish. Take a shortcut through the Artisanship Commission and convene with Lady Fu further down the line. Orders received, generals. Orders given. Orders received. Payment or we go. <laughs> Understood. Understood. Worry not. I know how to repay a favor. It's Without always the like the, the, like the neutral dialogue, lives, the good guy dialogue, and then the shitpost dialogue. The general said there are traitors aboard the ship. 
But only someone from the Six Commissions could bring the Stellaron into the Sienjo undetected, let alone plant it within the Ambrosial Arbor. You mean the General? You mean the Master Diviner? Ooh. Ooh, that was scary. I was having a snack in the repository when the Ambrosial Arbor started to grow. The trunk suddenly shot right up into the sky. Such is life, full of surprises. That's why you gotta seize any opportunity to take a break. <laughs> That's what you got out of this? What exactly is the Ambrosial Arbor? It is an ancient artifact that was planted on the Sienjo Lafu by Yausha, oh. the Eon of Abundance. It has the power to shape life and subdue death at will. The ancestors of the Lofu people consumed the fruits of the Ambrosial Arbor and gained endless lifespans, thus becoming long-life species. Vidyadra? Long ago, before the Sienjo took to the skies, our ancestors lived on the surface of a planet. Like all of you, the Sienjo people at that time were a mortal species with a lifespan of fewer than 100 years. But... There was a time when the ruling emperor could not bear his temporary existence, or the thought of his life's achievements being lost to another after his death. He became fixated on acquiring an elixir of immortality, and focused his power on constructing a fleet of nine ships. These ships would voyage into deep space, where traces of gods were rumored to exist. After an arduous journey, the nine ships eventually witnessed the manifestation of a god. Yao Shou's appearance provided for all manner of unfathomable celestial blessings. However, he failed because the fleet has been lost ever since and has never been able to return to its home planet. Immortality seemed like a beautiful thing. But what followed was population expansion and diminishing resources. That's going to be overpopulation. Issue. In the struggle for survival, yes, the immortals lost their humanity. No, just just live a hundred years and be happy with it. Especially the Vidyata race. The the, that whole race just doesn't die. Had it not been for the enlightenment and protection of the Rainbow Arbiter, Lan. the Sienjo Alliance you see today would never have existed. That's why they hate the Yao Su. It's almost like Yao Su cursed them. The Star Skiff is ready. I will lead the way. <coughs> wait, wait! Master Diviner! Can you divine our mm, fortunes it's not gonna for be us? That easy. Is there anything we need to watch out for? No need. My Omnisha has seen that your journey will be auspicious. Everything will proceed smoothly. Uh, to know. Are you sure? Watch me die to the boss. Artisan. Huh? Look at all the people gathered here. <sighs> Not a good day for commuting on the Lafu. The Artisanship Commission Delve should have suspended operations after the Stellaron corrosion began. Why haven't these people taken Stars gifts to safety? The Artisanship Commission is full of workshops, building state-of-the-art mechanisms, and craftsmen designing brand new concepts. Either way, we'll have to go in. Let's ask around first. This is the divination and the artist. The artist. We're moving further in, further in. This is definitely a location. And by the looks with the rewards, boss fight's coming. And this is likely gonna be that deer looking thing we saw in the in the demo. Another locked gate. Time for the old dilemma. Break in or climb over. A warm reminder, benefactors, that the Artisanship Commission is as important to the Sienjo as the Divination Commission. All right, we're breaking it. Trespassing into the Artisanship Commission can result in a prison sentence of between 300 to 500 <coughs> years. Three to five centuries. Dude, Yao Su, you yeah. really did a number of them. Whatever in, in good intentions or bad if you may had, you did a number on these people. <laughs> it's law breaking time. Are you gonna be this enthusiastic when it's jail sentencing time? It's jail sentencing time. Are you Mr. willing? Gong Shu, the worst thing is, my master is still inside. Gong Shu, right? Master Gong Shu is the most experienced craftsman in the Artisanship Commission smelting works. Mm -hmm. He's in charge of our research project. When the incident happened, he dragged me, Ziming, and Yuncha to safety. 
But then he turned around and ran back in. I just heard him shout, it's gone. We lost the furnace. And by the time we realized, he'd already vanished. Oh, if you find this. my master, please bring him out safe and sound. If anything happens to him. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, young sir. Your master's safety is our... None of us would be able to graduate this year. Okay. Uh, 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 hmm. My grades, I studied so hard for. Hello, there you go. Wow, I'm assuming that's the furnace. The Stellaron facilitated the resurrection of the Ambrosial Arbor. The severity of the corrosion becomes worse as it grows. Look. The roots are coming up through the ground. I'm afraid we've got some gardening work to do. <laughs> Illusions of the past! God, Seely's so good. Zeal Zeela. Sorry. Whoa, is that going to Upon commission grounds, your feet do tread. Leave from whence you came, or soon be dead. Dead. All right, Shakespeare. Uh, we're, we're good people, though, unless you got one of some of those branches in your brain. What excuses do you have? Surprise! Just passing by. Stumbled in. Door wide open. Mm. An evil spun by hands unseen, unknown. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Gold. Really? The general sent you? Then this must be a mere misunderstanding. <laughs> uh, don't worry about those things. Easy he was to trying to scam me. The artisanship commission was suddenly taken over by some evil tree demon. It seized our most precious possession. The creation, the creation furnace. furnace. <laughs> Look at that goofy ass. <laughs> Look, this is one of the artisanship commission's prototypes. Mm. The shifting screen. This is the first thing that came to mind when the tree demon attacked. Oh. It's a mechanical device codenamed the illumination chest. Oh. Oof. There we go. Where we go? Whoa! Whoop. Oh, look, the Ambrosial Arbor's roots. Oh, they've uncoiled the Artisanship Commission's most precious yeah, invention. Okay, it is. The Creation Furnace. Is this where they make those little, those guys? Help me, dear young friends. Let's hack them away together. We can't let the roots punch through the furnace! Alright. We're gonna do some deforestation. Careful, it's changing. <gasps> oh no! Oh no, this is the deer! A depth eye looking mother. Oh lord! Yeah, I was gonna say it looked dusty. What is that thing? What kind of monster is this? Miraculous! <laughs> it creates life at will! Such incredible power! Abundant Ebon Deer. Woo! An auspicious spiritual beast wrought into being by the Ambrosial Anchor. Ambrosial Arbor and protects its roots. Its arrival brings along exuberant vegetation and promises good fortune. Once destroyed during ancient wars, the Ambrosial Arbor is mended by Stellaron and finally revives. Rare creatures and legendary beasts made by celestials of the past or return to the world like an old dream coming alive again. Oh! It brought it back and it turned it on us. But what do you know? I have the three elements it's, look it's weak to. Goodies. <laughs> Right, it summons the son of a time for some sword play. Blade in flight. <laughs> time for a shot. You know, I never noticed how slow the animations were on one times. But like, you know, it's kind of like built like so you you'd want to use the two times speed. I get it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lost control attacks random enemies automatically. Okay, so it's fine then. 
visions of the past. Ooh. Oh god. Let me end your misery. Swords descend! <laughs> See, it keeps healing it by 35,000. No matter how much damage we do, it just heals itself. Let's, let's, Not fair! Let's snoop around and, like, you know, burn the tree first. We'll have to retreat for now. Follow me! I? Oh, we just. We, we, be we belly. Oh, shit. <laughs> The Evan Deer seems to heal itself instantly, but perhaps it's drawing that power from elsewhere. Yeah, just take down the tree. Let's blast it. This is smithereens. So if we follow the roots, we can find the source of its power. Yeah, it can't heal if we take out the source, right? When the deer revives, the surrounding roots glow brightly. As Mr. Yang said, the deer monster is likely drawing power from somewhere in order to replenish itself. Hmm. I'm certain that when the arbor glows, <sighs> we are witnessing that very process. We just need to disrupt that then. Hi, 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 let's go. There we go. Easy. Ooh. See? My theory was correct! Keep going! So even it just dispels the whole aura too. Yeah, buddy. Where we? Oh, oh, on on a ship. Oh, we're on a we're on a we're on a star skiff. Okay. Radio. Oh, so, you know what? Just just so I'm, that I'm here, there's something that is that has interested interested me. Someone in my YouTube comment brought this up as well. Thanks to that person, by the way. Very helpful. First of all, fuck this. <laughs> screw this quote. Right? There's there's this faction in the game called the Mask Fools, which follows Aha. You know that asshole who kind of just wiped out the crew of the previous Astro Express. These are their its followers. You know that uh, that odd scene. To you, my dear audience. I dedicate my performance. I wonder, did I bring a little more joy into your lives? Uh, it could have just been like it's a it's a reference to Midsummer Night's Dream, or it's hinting that Sample is a member of the Mask Fools. The more crazy one is that a, a Sample is Aha, the Aeon of a Elation, but I think that's a bit of a stretch. The other theory is that there he is a member of the Stellaron Hunter because. Isn't it strange that he ju he just so happens to end up bringing Branya to the underworld? Because without Branya, the whole like storyline kind of changes completely. We might not even like it might have turned out even worse. Like maybe Branya would have ended up being brainwashed by the Stellaron. Maybe Kakoli would have succeeded if it was not for Sample accidentally bringing Branya to the underworld. His name is also Sam Polkowski. Sam. There's someone in the Stellaron Hunters named Sam. So, you know, could be just, 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 a, just a little brain thought, you know? You're welcome, again. <sighs> I guess we're done. Back to the deer. The roots coiled around the creation furnace! They've withered! Excellent! Nothing can stop you now! Here oh, we go shit. again, for real this time. No cheating! There you go. Ow. Time for sword play! Strike with fire! <coughs> Disappear among the sea of butterflies! Illusions of the past! Yeah. Oh. The gains are okay. Wow, you just peaches. I am 
kinda hungry. Don't give in to temptation. March. Uh, uh, I'm just saying, it'll be a shame if they get <laughs> smashed to pieces. Come on. <laughs> I've never heard Welt make that emotion before. March. God damn it. Disappear no among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. But then again, I also want to see what the ult does. Guard. <laughs> Can you okay, I want to see it use the ult once, okay? So I'm I'm sorry team, gonna subject you to some huge PP damage. Oh, here it comes! Oh, oh, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a... I don't want to... Among the Intimidation sea of factor, this thing's not Illusions as scary as Sparrow. Sparrow just has that chat energy in him. Really, the achievements, too? Oh, well. It's a shame. It was a very dear. I'm, I'm just kidding. General Jing Wan said the Ambrosial Arbor was an unfathomable celestial blessing. At first glance, that deer could have been an ordinary life form, mm. but the ability to heal such grave wounds in an instant. I think I finally understand why the Sienjo decided to follow the hunt in eradicating the abundance. I mean, yeah, I'm sure Yao Si was was not did not have intentions on destroying an entire civilization, but should have thought things through. Immortality is... it's... it's a... it's a curse that you only realize too late, you know. Everyone wants to live forever, until they don't. If immortal creations were left to spread their branches and roots throughout the universe, entire ecosystems would collapse. No wonder the people of the Sienjo wander the universe, never settling on a planet. I mean, like, think of it like, see like this, the Archons from Genshin, you know? They suffer from erosion, like corrosion. Ajdaha went fucking mad because of it. Zhongli is dying. Raiden had to create a puppet body for herself just to sustain herself. Oventi in that whole case with Dvalin. <sighs> Ironic, isn't it? The wise are buried, while the fools remain immortal. The Sienjo regrets being led astray by the abundance. That's why they have decided to embark on the path of the hunt. Maybe it's not too late for redemption. Thank you for your help. I realize you must continue on to the Alchemy Commission, to the Ambrosial Arbor. After witnessing what happened here, I know there will only be more danger ahead. Go, friends, and stay vigilant. I wish you a safe journey. Thank you, Gongshu. They said that in ancient times, the forebears of the Xianzhou received immortal fruits like this of the Ambrosio Arbor and turned into long life species. If I were to eat this fruit, would I obtain endless life just like the Xianzhou natives? Are you not tempted by such a chance benefactor? Miss Tingyan, wouldn't you be breaching the Xianzhou ban? Ah. Please pardon me for my rudeness and my, my little rotesque. As I thought, you're an honest and righteous person, benefactor. But thank you for the thought, benefactor. Unfortunately, the Epon deer is now dust, and no fruit of the Ambroid Arker Ambroid Arker is left behind. Such opportunities are extremely rare, but they slip away in the blink of an eye. Just like life itself. You know, if you gave me the chance, I still wouldn't take it. Like, just imagine, though, like, with immortality, like, one day you'd end up getting bored of living life itself. <laughs> Like, by then, like, you can't die, but you're, you're just fed up with <laughs> existing. What What's the fun in that, all right? They say that a long time ago, when the Sienjo Alliance was adrift in deep space, it encountered many unimaginable life forms. Among them were abominations known as Heliobi. It's said that mortals parasitized by Heliobi would lose their free will imperceptibly before gradually going berserk. Dude, Xianzhou is just like not having it right now. The people of the Xianzhou finally managed to trap and seal the Heliobi in a vessel. That vessel 
is the creation furnace. Oh. Our predecessors hoped that by burning the heliobi in the furnace, their energy would gradually be exhausted until they were completely destroyed. Meanwhile... So this is the Lafu's Ambrosial Arbor. It's my first time seeing it. It sounds like they were here before we came here. I suggest we hasten to Starskiff Jetty and send this judge of the Ten Lords Commission on her way. We must continue our own journeys as soon yeah, as possible. Yeah, you, you got the remains of someone to deliver. You're the first Ten Lords Commission judge I've met. What do you guys do, exactly? Our work concerns the Mara Struck and the lifespans of long-life species. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Hopefully you'll be the last one I meet for a while, then. Why is there still a civilian out here? Gongsu? There's no hope of the Cloud Knights arriving now. I would work. As darkness falleth, think not what is just. To this hey. old man entrust your hopes. Hey, we're here. You. A few more steps and we're at the main gate. Thank you for escorting me. We must go our separate ways. It's just a few steps away. You're not leaving with us? The apprentices fled as they should have. But I cannot let them see their master flee from peril. This is as uh, far as so I go. This is when he runs back inside. I must see what more I can do for the artisanship commission. <sighs> master Gongshu. That's fine. He'll be fine. No. Everyone has their duties. Let's go. Well, see you, old chap. I can't just abandon the commission. I must think of a way to solve all this. I'll free you. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. This song keeps up. <laughs> Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. <laughs> so, are judges all loners? You don't seem to have any backup. Judges of the Ten Lords Commission have always acted independently, each carrying out their duty in solitude. However... However? However... Mm. I have a younger sister. You remind me of her. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. What? Wait, 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 wait. Master Gongshu, how could you stay inside? Why are you still here? I, I'm afraid that if I leave, I won't be able to graduate. Imagine we, they leave, the, like, just moments before we arrive. Thank you for ensuring my safety on this journey. I will report this good deed to the Ten Lords. And if the opportunity arises, I will return the favor. Shuri boards the cigar skiff and you watch as she leaves. She mentioned the Cloud Knights were at the Alchemy Commission. I should find a ship and regroup with my unit. What about you? The Alchemy Commission, let's go together. So this is where we go our separate ways? You want to stay here? No, no. The Artisanship Commission isn't safe enough. How about this? I'll escort you and Mr. Locha a oh, little further. Oh, are we going to meet up in the Alchemy Commission then? We are most grateful, Miss... Sushang. I really think we le they left them moments before we arrived. Don't you? Oh, it's the, it's the blind lady. Ah, you're back. From the sound of your stride, I sense you're in good spirits. Let's get down to business. I analyzed the prescription you procured, the draft of Draconic Surge. Now that I have a preliminary conclusion, it needs to be delivered to the seat of Divine Foresight. Put simply, I don't believe that the draft of Draconic Surge holds the cure to the Mara. Even in the foreseeable future, there will likely not be any such cure. You know, I think I think the way it's gonna be is like every major arc, there's going to be a like a like a mini boss, one or two, and then we go on to like the weekly boss. Where's our gang? Where's the crew? Don Shu. Wait, why would the Alchemy Commission's chief alchemist be away from her post? I've heard that the Chief Alchemist is visually impaired. She rarely leaves the Alchemy Commission delve. Mm. She has a vast knowledge and expertise. No wonder she was able to analyze the pharmacology so quickly. Let me see her report. Xing expression is serious as she completes reading 
Don Truth reports. No cure? <sighs> Where did these villains get their hands on such a complex prescription? This is infuriating. That tree remained dead for Hello. thousands of years. Thank you for coming on such short notice. My stay in Exalting Sanctum was supposed to be focused on treating people and delivering medicine. But the Seed of Divine Foresight tasked me with analyzing the prescription. I've been severely delayed. I've already concocted some of the medicine in question. But there can't be any further delays. Could you assist me in ensuring it arrives on time? Okay, no problem. Is this the one Don Shu sent me to find? Hmm. Does she come here to treat other sightless people? Ah, oh, little missy. Can't see ahead. Can't see right. Can't see left. Heads on the east. East on the west. Wow. She's stuck! <laughs> she can't get down! Hey, what you looking at, Outworlder? Mind your own business! You know... Do the kids in the city have health bars? Just asking, I'm just asking. Who do you think you are? Keep your nose out of this! I beat people up all the time! Well, I can grab you by your head and do like just lift you up right now, okay? Don't push your luck. Yeah. Arrogant kids run up to you and punch punches you. You stand strong and moving. The boy falls backwards and react. <laughs> I have my shield up, you fool. Boss, let's get out of here. We shouldn't fight anyone that doesn't respect martial arts. Martial arts! Thank you for helping me, miss. They always laugh at me for being blind. And they like to trip me up and That's so... steal my things. Oh. Don Shu wants me to deliver this medication to Oh, Don Shu asked you to come? Things are bad on the law field recently. Don Shu must be very busy. Thank you, miss. Remember to thank her for me. The little girl takes the medicine and returns the way she came. She reminds me of myself when I was a child. I also had to find my way in the dark. Face obstacles I couldn't predict. I worry about her wandering around on her own. And I want to know what's been on her mind lately. Her parents passed away in the denizens of Abundance Wars. The relatives who took her in aren't close to her. And whenever I treat her, she often confides in me. She told me that whenever she's feeling troubled, she finds a quiet corner in the Artisanship Commission and just sits there, letting the sounds wash over her. There's danger around every corner these days, especially for a sightless child. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I didn't see her. Shit. Well, we got it. <laughs> Thank you, Don Chu. When I think about all the trouble I've caused you to, oh, no, that's all right. I feel like such a burden. I'm sorry. Is that why you're crying? <sighs> Maybe you should start getting used to this feeling. If a little bit of guilt like this is enough to break your heart. Then how will you manage such an arduous path? Don't you? Is this supposed to be comforting? I'm not trying to console her. This is... the reality. Well, uh... Is this what a kid Here wants to hear, though? Eve is a long-life species. She can expect life to continue like this for nearly a thousand years. She must learn to depend upon herself rather than just foolishly waiting around for the next hero to swoop in and save her. You're sounding a little cold right now. In the meantime, she'll have to learn to withstand the darkness. Right, look, Just as I have. Look, relax, though, you know? Hey. Take it slow. Thank you again. For all you've done. It would seem we incomplete ones are often bullied from a tender age. I endured in numerous hardships to become chief alchemist. Yet... There are still things that leave me feeling helpless. Is there no cure? Does the Shinjo have the technology to help with such impairments? For long life species, these things are permanent. Whether we are beautiful or ugly, tall or short, wise or foolish, 
all of it, is encoded into our flesh from the moment we are born. The impairments of short life species can be corrected with ingenia or surgery. But that's an impossibility for Sienjo natives. No matter the method employed, our bodies will eventually return to their original states. I too was once a non believer. I fooled myself into acquiring artificial eye implants. Soon thereafter, my sightless eyes began to regenerate. And I was left in pain and despair. Thanks, Yao Shi. What a joke. Even the denizens of abundance, so called abominations, needn't endure such torture. Perhaps we incomplete ones are merely traitors, cursed by the plague's author. What do you mean? You had a scary look on your face just now. It's nothing. Forget I said anything. I have a gift for you. Though I'll need a little time to prepare it. I'll contact you once it's ready to collect. See you soon, friend. How is she... Wait. She's a kid, right? How is she... St it's obvious. Why the fuck did I not think... Examining the exhibits in the Seat of Divine Foresight inspired me to create this. Mm. I referenced some historical texts and concocted a medicine that can extend your lifespan and improve your health. Oh, uh, not like immortality level and extend I lifespan, call it right? The Broomdew Concentrate Pellet, and I'd like you to have it. Consuming it will make your body light, agile, and promote longevity and well-being. As a nameless, it'll make your journey a much less arduous one. Well then, that's that. I've still got some other business to attend to, so shall we say goodbye for now? Don't you place the box and the pallet on the table, you glanced at it. Put it aside. It's not that I don't trust Don Shu, but this doesn't seem like something I should take lightly. Yeah, well... I'd better talk to Ching Zhu at the Seat of Divine Foresight. Anshu's diary. That night, as I screamed in a puddle of my own blood, I once again returned to see the darkness. A puddle of your... That, that's what she was talking about. She gained her vision back temporarily with the help of a professor from the Intelligentsia Guild. I, that last line is just concerning. I don't know what the fuck that meant. Thank the stars you were wise enough not to take that pellet. My alchemists were able to extract many forbidden components. The result is identical to the disciples' mysterious prescription. I can't believe Don Chu lied to me. I see, in that case, I'll go look for another. I had a suspicion that there might be a spy in the Alchemy Commission. But I never expected it to be someone so she's... high up in the organization. Wait, she's the, the the infiltrator? I'll put out a wanted notice for Don Shu immediately. If you find any trace of her, get in touch with me. Don Shu isn't here. Where could she be? I've got it. Don Shu's medicine box has her scent on it. I'll ask the Deeding that Ching Zhu lent me to track her. Time to come out, little Deeding. I need you to help me find Don Shu. Talkie. You're fucking kidding me, right? Master, stand back. Let me handle this. Master. You were so nice. Two. Stand down. She's a friend. Many of our brethren have fallen by her hands. Yes, I am aware. What? I said she's my friend. Leave us. I didn't expect you to come looking for me. I am master of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, Scion of Merciful Medicus. She's And the... I shall lead the entire Sienjo Alliance onto the path of abundance. She's the leader? Looks like you have yet to forgive me. You and think? Friend, please. I urge you to leave the Lafu. Abandon the struggle. The truth isn't what it appears to be. What did the minions at the seat of divine foresight tell you about this conflict? 
that the Rainbow Arbiter is the emissary of the righteous? That the Arbiter is Look, chasing Lon the heathen prince author across the stars, goods, right? while the disciples of Sanctus Medicus abet their heresy. Lan might not be like the like a good person, like a good e Aeon, by any means. They might be neutral at best, but at least they have the, the common sense to know that what Yao Si bl blessed the Xianzhou Luofu with was was like just detrimental to the whole nation. Not just like the, the the all the fleets of you know Xianzhou, right? At least Lan was able to realize that, and then you guys are over here still following in the footsteps of the thing that's like bringing. Pe uh, you you were complaining that you know because of your long lifespans, you know the the transplants and those all those tech, the visual impair to help your visual impairment wouldn't last because you live that long so why not assist us to stop this thing and in turn cure this immortality disease so that future people like you won't have to go through the same predicament and have a chance to actually be cured in their lifespan Huh? I do not ask for you to pick a side. This is so stupid. I just wish for you to leave the law food. To leave this all behind. This isn't your fight, and I do not wish to make an enemy of you. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh what? You're gonna make me make that kind of decision now, game? Okay, let's think of it this way. I let her go. She continues down her path. Like once we dispel this whole thing with the tree, she that means all this, you know, all this goes away. Essentially, like the whole Sanctus Medicus becomes redundant. Because the power of abundance just, you know, just goes away and the, like there's no point in them now, right? She might even go mad from that. We we battle with her, we'd likely end up killing her. At least, you know. The one thing, this immortality thing, that's been bugging her out so much, you know. We can help her end that. I'm sorry, this is... Most unfortunate. Had you known me first, perhaps we could have been good friends. You know, it, oh, it, all of this comes down to Yao Su, okay? All of this, in the end, it comes down to Yao Su for... for Christ's sake, Yao Su, think before you do something next time. Master, we should leave now. I sincerely wish that this will be our last meeting. Farewell, nameless. Oh, now I see her prosthetic hand. Wait, she just leaves anyway? What, what, what was the point in that then? I'll end your misery. I'll free you from disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Turn it up. Time for a shot. Now. Lance up. I'd better report my findings to Ching Zhu at the Seat of Divine Foresight. Oh, shh. No wonder. When you become Mara struck, you sound like all your, like, um, if you're disabled, it, it literally just heals you. It cures you of your dis disability. That's why she has the... She she wants to become Mara struck. She wants that. She, th she thinks become Mara... This Mara is the cure. Then I won't be I won't be including this entire text in the video. But like essentially, U UFA enlisted in a war that that's was going on between probably the um, the Medicus group and the Alliance, right? UFA was enlisted as a healer, and she dies in this war, right? Because UFA was on the side of th of the Alliance, which is you know La the, the Order of Lan, right? The path of the hunt. It wasn't even the Abundance faction that killed her. Lan came down to, to annihilate the other enemy crowd, but she was... 
she was killed as collateral damage caused by Lan. That's why... Dude, you know, no wonder she became like this. The Aeons are just concerning. They just, they just, they just don't care. Yao Si, with good intentions, cursed this entire, all the fleets. And then Lan is just like, oh, sorry guys, you know. How did it go? I'd be pissed too. Did you manage to locate Don Shu? So you weren't able to apprehend her. <sighs> I see. These people have been in hiding for so long. They must have a more nefarious plan. I've got to apprehend them quickly. Once again, thank you for all your help. With your intel, we will put a stop to Don Shu. Jing Yuan tells me you'll be joining the forces led by the Alchemy Commission and Master Diviner. I won't take up any more of your time. Please, take good care of yourself. If you run into Don Shu again, contact the nearest Cloud Knights. Take this as a token of my appreciation. You deserve it. Wait. Oh fuck, we done. Now this is a this is a weird feeling. You know, I okay, I get why people I've I've seen this around Reddit and people have been saying the the Lawfu storyline, the Xianzhou Lawfu storyline has been uh, has not been as great as Bellabog. Bellabog's one because it's feel disconnected. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of getting the feeling here there. I feel like the, I feel like what they should have did though is instead of like putting this as like the main part of the main storyline, instead of that, you know how Genshin has like the Archon quest and then just any quest actually and then there can be multiple tabs of the objective you need to do it should be like th these like sides i guess side missions of the main story could have been divided up like into other objectives you can complete later just proceed with the story for now right i'm surprised this, this is where they decide to leave it off of so so next patch which is coming coming in around june i believe we'll be discovering these last few locations which is maybe here, here, maybe here. Definitely here, 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 and he here. On top, likely. Okay, uh, Shenzhou's storyline has been, although disconnected, it's been very interesting so far. I feel like it's it does a good job of doing like world building, especially lore wise and all that. And uh, you know, I, I'm I'm actually really eager to learn more. Uh, all right. So next patch, we're gonna save the world again. This whole deal with you know, how the the conflict between the abundance and the hunt. I can't wait to see the final act of, um, of the Xianzhou Luofu, supposedly. It should be the final act, unless they have a lot more to tell. I really hope you guys had a good time watching me experience the story for now. I'm still very excited for the, for the future of Star Rail. I think there is huge potential in this game. And... Surprisingly enough, I'm really enjoying turn-based combat. Yeah. Hey, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.